टू एक्सल बोल्स्टरलेस बोगी टाइप पी डब्ल्यू वन ट्वेंटी ई एन आर एस बोगीज आर यूज फॉर नोएडा मेट्रो ट्रेन बोगी इज अ चेसिस और फ्रेमवर्क दैट कैरीज अ व्हील सेट अटैच टू अ व्हीकल इट इज अ मोड्यूलर सब असेंबली ऑफ व्हील्स एंड एक्सल्स बोगीज कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू द ट्रेलर बोगी and the motor bogey the parts of the motor bogey are the bogey frame wheel set and the axle box system the primary suspension system the secondary suspension system driving system central traction system the tread brake system and the wheel flange lubrication or the wfl system the parts of a trailer bogey are the bogey frame wheel set and the axle box system primary suspension system secondary suspension system central traction system the wfl system and the tread brake system the functions of the important parts are as follows the bogey frame system is the main structural part of the bogey housing all the parts of the bogey linking all the bogies of the train into a complete bogey system it bears and transfers various forces and loads of the vehicle wheel set and axle box system consists of wheels axle and the axle box assembly there are motor wheel set axle box assembly and the trailer wheel set axle box assemblies The motor wheel set axle box consists of the wheel set assembly speed sensor axle box and the earth axle box Additionally the drive gear is installed on the power axle of the motor bogey diagonally The trailer wheel set axle box assembly consists of the front trailer wheel set and the rear trailer wheel set The front trailer wheel set has the axle box with speed sensor at one end and the axle box with earth at the other end the rear trailer wheel set has the axle box with speed sensor at one end 
and the axle box with odometer at the other end. The earth axle box assembly or the earth axle end consists of the axle box, the bearing, axle end cover, axle box cover and the earth return. The speed sensor axle box assembly or the speed sensor axle end consists of the axle box, the bearing, axle end cover, the speed measurement gear, axle box cover and the speed sensor. The odometer axle box system or the odometer axle end consists of the axle box, bearing, axle end cover, axle box cover and the EOSS or the electro optical speed sensor. The axle box assembly converts the circular motion of the wheel to the linear motion along the track. It supports the load of the bogey frame and the parts above the frame and transfers the traction and the brake force. A single axle has two wheels. A wheel has the following parts. Front face rim of the wheel, wheel hub, the wheel tread, damping ring for noise reduction, wheel flange, back face rim of the wheel, wheel web and the wheel bore. Following are the wheel parameters and their wear limits. This is the flange thickness of the wheel. The flange thickness reading should be 29.4 to 26.4 millimeters. This is the flange root thickness. The root thickness should be between 34.7 millimeters to 28.7 millimeters. This is the tread wear. The tread wear should be 0 to 5 millimeters. This is the flange height of the wheel. The flange height should be 28.5 to 33.5 millimeters. This is the wheel width. The wheel width should be 130 mm plus minus 1 mm. Wheel diameter is measured on the tread at 63.5 mm from the wheel gauge face. The wheel diameter of the new wheel is 860 mm. And the diameter of the worn out wheel is 780 mm. The parameters of the new wheel and the worn out wheel is as follows. The primary suspension system consists of the helical steel springs, swing arm, the primary vertical damper,
vertical stop. The helical springs consist of an exterior helical spring and an interior helical spring. The main function of the primary suspension is that it positions the wheel sets on the bogey frame connecting the wheel sets to the frame and transfers the traction and the brake force to the wheels. Additionally, it bears all the load from the vehicle on its springs and absorbs the vibrations and shocks of the track. The secondary suspension system adopts the bolsterless structure, consists of the air springs, also called the bellows, secondary vertical damper, the lateral damper, anti-roll bar with its connecting rod, and the leveling linkage. The function of the secondary suspension system is that it aims at improving riding comfort of the passengers and provides a flexible support to the car body to ensure the relative rotation of bogey to the car body under frame. It isolates the car body from track vibrations and the air spring maintains a constant height of floor under various load cases. The car plus the passenger load is transferred to track in the following manner. The central traction system consists of the central pivot traction rods mounting bolts z link lateral damper and the lateral buffer The central traction system is used to transfer the longitudinal traction force and the brake force. It can adapt to various relative movements between the car body and the bogey. The drive system is a critical part of the bogey and mainly consists of the traction motor, gear case and the coupling. It transfers the electrical energy into mechanical energy via the traction motor. The torque is transferred to the wheels via the coupling and the gear case that will drive the train to run on the tracks. The tractive forces are transferred in the following manner. The wheel flange lubrication system or the WFL system is a dry lubrication system mounted on the bogey frame. At the end of side beam corresponding to axles 1 and 3 of the trailer bogey 
and axles 2 and 3 of the motor bogey. The following is an overview of the WFL location on all the four coaches. The WFL system consists of WFL box, that houses the WFL molybdenum blocks. These blocks are pressed by a spring assembly so that the lubricating blocks can stick to the wheel flange and lubricate the wheel flange. When the wheels run on the track, the lubrication blocks lubricate the wheel flange to form a layer of film. The WFL box has observation holes through which the status of WFL molybdenum blocks can be seen and checked by the maintainer. The tread brake system of bogey 1 of the trailer car consists of one set of service brake TBU, and three sets of parking brake TBUs. The tread brake system of the bogey 2 of trailer car consists of two sets of service brake TBUs and two sets of parking brake TBUs arranged diagonally. The tread brake system of both bogies of the motor car consists of two sets of service brake TBUs and two sets of parking brake TBUs arranged diagonally. The braking forces are transferred in the following manner. The brake systems are installed to ensure safe, efficient and reliable running of the metro trains.